Make sure you guys are staying zoomed in and watching, especially that fight. It's probably the best live arena match I've ever had. What is up, everyone? Welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to do a bit of a spotlight on Little Miss Annie in live arena. Recently, I made a video on her, and honestly, I really love the changes, guys. Bringing her own increased attack, Veil, revive on that, and insane damage is going to be very, very helpful. And, uh, I got a four-star awakening for her today, actually. I went and bought it with the 300, uh, 300 currency. So hopefully we're not going to regret it, right? Let's see. Let's see what we're, uh, we're dealing with here. As boy. We're getting close to that 4,800 uh, points for uh, gold four guys. So he's starting directly with a Son Wukong. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna start with Sifi and slowly we're gonna we're gonna move over on the on the list. I will bring a lockout, of course, because uh is the Mera. It, it is what it is, you know. But you're gonna be well impressed with the damage, guys. And just being able to bring in uh an attack damage dealer without requiring to bring in an increased attack champion and still smack them is very, very uh powerful. And a lot of people, a lot of people will underestimate her. So I'm going to bring Taras and Marichka with the hope that he will ban either Taras, either, uh, either Warlord. Most people, most people so far, they ban, uh, they ban any other damage dealer that I have except Little Miss Annie. And they leave her in the team. So I'm very curious to see uh, how many people will, uh, will do that uh, today, you know. Let's see, what do we have in here? I have gear on all of my champions now because I'm I'm moving so much gear with Soul Cross, you know, with the, with the Gersit City, and uh, I just end up in a, uh, either doing myself a fight, either having my buddy Johnny telling me, "Bro, you had no gear on uh, on uh, Taras, you have no gear on this champion, etc." So I'm gonna ban, of course, Helicat in case if he's gonna ban my Warlord, I don't wanna deal with him. But let's see what he's doing. Who is he banning? I'm so curious if he's gonna go for Taras. Thinking that, yeah, Little Miss Annie won't be enough. Let's see. As boy, who are you banning? Who are... <laughs> I had a feeling that that might happen. Pardon the evil laugh, but I couldn't help it. I just couldn't help it. Well, this guy, he's about to get absolutely destroyed by Little Miss Annie. And he's going to get so destroyed that he's probably going to cry after this fight. Which is fine, not a problem. Now, I would still love to see one more thing on uh, Little Miss Annie. And that, of course, will be uh, blocking revive on one of the skills. That would be just perfect. That's what I personally wanted from the kind of like the beginning on her to have a, to have a, a block revive, you know. So she's not that just yet. Soul Reap is still not, uh, not enough to kill with Harima. But we got her pretty much. Almost down with A2. Right now we have Veil. So only AoE attacks can actually hit her. Uh, they're locked. They cannot do that. We have the increased attack. Which, let me just show you in a second what the increased attack does. So you have that Python right there. Okay. And yeah, let's, let's not waste more time with, uh, with you. And check this out. One hit only. The second... Didn't even went on it. Now I have revive on that because I just killed somebody. So I'm going to take that monkey king down slowly uh, because he seems that he's about to, to recover, basically, and uh, that can be a problem. Well, we're going to let him stay a bit, uh, a bit longer and take down Harima and smack, uh, smack the rest. Now, probably his builds were not very, very powerful, which is fine because we're going to move over to the next, uh, to the next opponent. But probably he's crying right now because Little Miss Annie just clapped his booty cheeks. <laughs> because he banned that Taras. So many people are doing it. Let's see the next, uh, the next opponent. Yeah, I, I would say probably his gear was just not, uh, not strong enough anyway. Just to, to compete with, uh, with that force of, uh, of Little Miss Annie, you know. But we have a speed guy right here. So maybe he's very fast. Who knows? Let's see. He has the first pick, the lock in the chamber, and he starts with King Narciss directly. Well, I'm going to go in with, with uh, Sifi, and I'm going to go with Warlord. I'm going to let him do the rest of the, the picks. He's definitely ready to smack a Marichka and Taras, if I'm going to give them to him, you know. 
Okay, so he's going Duchess. He's going Harima. Uh, he can bring Queen Ancora. He can bring in different, uh, different characters that could uh, play a pretty important role. Just because I want to make sure I still have uh, another solid damage dealer and that I'm not getting uh, locked behind. Uh... Actually, you know what? Let's let's just uh... hmm. Let's go like this. Let me let me just have him uh, have him on the list. Maybe he's gonna ban him. Maybe he's gonna ban Taras when he's gonna see Little Miss Annie. We're still playing that uh, mind game with him. I was gonna I was gonna say let me just bring in uh, Arbais and Son Wukong. You know maybe. As, a, as an idea, but there you go. He kind of like brought his uh, his entire crew. I don't want to pick Rotos unless I'm at this moment and I see that he has no UDK, because if I do that earlier, he's basically going to, to, to kick him out, you know? So the biggest danger, the biggest danger right here, of course, is Ancora uh, or Narciss or Rotos. Rotos can go ham. So what I want to do, just to make sure that that Ancora won't constantly decrease the cooldowns of Narciss' skills, we're gonna go in like this. And there you go. I, I don't even need to say anything. People, they're just kind of like falling for it. And they're banning that Taras, thinking that, well, <laughs> a little Miss Annie. Isn't that a trash champion? She's not good for anything, right? And what's crazier to see is that the, the, the mentality behind it and them not, not even looking at Warlord, considering it as a threat. Maybe because they have, uh, they have uh, that, uh, that feeling that... King Narciss with Ancora might, might get the job done, or uh, Rotos constantly taking uh, extra turns. I haven't seen who hit reaction here. I think Narciss had reaction. I think Rotos, Rotos ha uh, had reaction too. So I'm going to go for King, uh, King Narciss first. One, two, yeah. Uh, one of the hits were, uh, were with reaction. That's fine. So let's go for Ro Rotos. Triple hit reaction as well. We landed the defense down on him. So that will definitely exterminate him in the in the next in the next phase you see two of his nukers are already super super low and they cannot even touch my little miss annie that's the good part right now they cannot do anything to her now if they would have a udk without stone skin and i would use the a3 on duchess or on a uh one of their other champions probably the a3 will kill udk and the other champion but it's not happening very often when they actually have that uh, on so let's not allow him to take an extra turn. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to put that Duchess to sleep. Bang! Go down. We got a revive on that right now. And if we're lucky and we're triggering uh, Little Miss Annie with the A1, we can kill somebody else, which was not the case. I still have the Veil, so only AoE damage can touch her. Rotos will not be able to touch her. Narciss, if he's going to get his A2 on, he will be able to, to get the job done. But the rest won't be able to, to do much. So we're going to kill that Rotos right now with A2. We get the Veil back. We get the Increase Attack. And maybe an ally attack on that uh, Harima. No, that's fine. We still have the Sleep on Narciss. But we're about to put that Narciss to sleep for good right now. Once we're taking our turn. Just with the A1. Bang. It is a bit risky with the A1, I'll be very honest. Especially if... Uh, you're attacking uh, enemies that have polymorph because if you land that weaken or heal reduction on, uh, it's dangerous. Things like this can happen. You get a counter attack from a, a champion like Harima, but then you revive Little Miss Annie and she just goes on and kills them because she attacks uh, whoever killed her before when you revive her and is not even taking uh, her own turn. She just goes and does it. So there you go. Little Miss Annie slapping another one because uh, he underestimated the champion. I'm going to show you builds and stuff uh, at the end, guys, on Little Miss Annie. Uh, let me just uh, do a few, more, uh, a few more fights. So we have uh, a big Kraken right here, just, just uh, by seeing the name, probably like 20 Mythicals. Let's see. Maybe I'm wrong. So he starts with Sifi directly. Uh, mm, let's, let's, let's try the same, the same strategy. Sifi can be a bit of a a bit of a, a issue. That's fine. She doesn't have sheep at least for Taras, so that's very good. Is he gonna bring the new couple? Probably. Yep. Okay. So he did that. Um, I kind of wanna wanna cover him a bit like this. So we're gonna we're gonna go like that. Arbais that counters a bit his Sifi. 
uh, if he's gonna bring in a Crixie out of nowhere, probably it's gonna be pretty pretty nasty. So I'm gonna have to ban her instead of uh, somebody else or a Lazarius. Let's see what he what he has. I'm sure he's he's a man full of surprises or a or a woman full of surprises. Who knows? I still need to build a couple of more champions for uh, for Live Arena. I don't do much Live Arena on my account. I have a friend Johnny that plays uh, plays Live Arena on my account, guys, and uh, I need to build him a few more uh, a few more champions so he can actually have full uh, full fun in uh, in Live Arena. He's constantly moving gear for for the cursed city and stuff. It's pretty annoying. So of course we're going to bring her. Now right here, I'm a, in a bit of a in a bit of a pickle, right? Because it's pretty nasty. Like Mikage can counter uh, counter my ass really bad, you know. So instead, I'm gonna ban her, leave his team uh, on like that. He banned Warlord, so you see, it's, it's a bit of a bit of a different thing right here. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm gonna be able to to cut in front of the of the enemy. You know, let's see. Let's see what's going to happen right here. Okay, so Sifi. Take your turn. What are you going to do? Okay, so right now, right now, I can boost the Termiter and hope for the best. I feel like that is my best, my best outcome in here. Boost the Termiter and literally hope that uh, I'm going to take a turn before his Wukong. Uh, I need to put that Wukong to, to sleep. Narciss is a, is a danger in here too. I feel like Wukong can, uh, can create me more uh, more issues so instead i'm gonna try and veil anyway and i'm supposed to put the revive on that actually that was that was my mistake here i'm supposed to go with the a3 revive on that that would have been a much safer outcome so that was my my mistake here totally my mistake uh, a big shame a big shame that i messed it up like this but uh yeah i feel like we might we might lose the fight because of it i supposed to just end him like that you know he, w he was not going to survive even with the reaction. And I would have had revive on that and uh, come back to life. Right now, Narcissus is going to end me. Yeah, that's exactly what I was, uh, what I was afraid of, that this, this will happen on, on her and she's not going to revive, you know? I, 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 I thought a bit uh, about it, but too, too late. Narcissus has the A2 available again. So can he, can he kill somebody? No, he cannot. Okay. Let's see. Okay, that's fine. Use the. Are you gonna use the A3 or you're gonna use the A2? Let's see how smart you are. Come on. Don't think too much about it. Okay. So he's pretty smart. He's pretty smart. <laughs> he tried. And then that Ancora twice decreased the cooldown of the skills, man. Okay, so this is a lost fight. GG's. This is. I. I, I really regret not doing what I. What I supposed to do there. But hey, what can. Uh, what can you do? What can you do? He's probably going to slowly stall, uh, stall the whole, uh, the whole thing in here. And uh, okay, he got a decrease of the cooldowns again. A three. No, he went with A one, trying to to weaken me even more. Hopefully, hopefully, he will kill me. I was gonna say, hopefully, he will kill me because that can be beneficial. Now, Little Miss Annie revived. She didn't attack King Nars. I was gonna say some some weird stuff is happening there. I'm not sure why. It happened, but some weird stuff was happening. So let's uh, let's try to put somebody down to to sleep. Okay, one is down. Revive on that. What I'm gonna do this time around? Uh, not necessarily the best idea, but I, I gotta get some healing. I know Wukong has the A3 available. Uh, probably he was waiting for this moment. Okay, so he has he has the A2 available as well. If I'm not nuking him. Oh, ho, ho, baby, what a comeback. What a comeback. Unbelievable. Unbelievable what a comeback we just had right here. Ladies and gentlemen, I thought that this fight was lost. But we managed to, we managed to do a comeback. Of course, that cheeky nook from Taras actually helped us, uh, helped us quite a bit. I've done that mistake at the beginning, you know, and uh, that almost costed me the, the entire fight. But it's cool. Let's let's move over. We have Skadi here from Castle Blackmark. Um, there are, they are a lot of mythicals in Live Arena. It's actually crazy how much the meta changed towards mythicals, and 
how uh, how much it will change from here on more into the into the future with every single little one that uh, uh, they're adding to the game. Every little single mythical that's being added to the game, you know. Especially Siegfried right now is just so dangerous. Like you, you need to ban Siegfried. If you see Siegfried, you need to instantly ban him. You can't kill him. You can't. You can't. Uh, you can't survive the hit either. You know, <laughs> it's it's like a, a knife with a, a double sharp edge. Okay, who he, who is he picking? The new couple, maybe. I feel like most people that are uh, this high in live arena, they will have uh, the new couple. Most of them, not everybody, but most of them. Probably ninety five percent of them. The other five percent are free to play players that have been playing for a while and uh, uh, they still have a very solid roster to be able to reach this uh, this tier. But probably they got caught off guard by uh, by the event. So right here, UDK and Harima, which is pretty pretty interesting. I'm gonna go in. So since he got Sifi, I'm gonna go in with Arbais. He has UDK. I need to counter that Sifi somehow, and uh, I could bring in Duchess, of course. Let's try something different. Let me play my mythical as well, you know. I have two two mythicals on my account and uh, I feel like I'm not I'm not really playing them. Let me show them some love. Arbaish is actually pretty nice for Live Arena. I like her. Krixia, man. She's my most wanted. She is my most wanted. So this guy actually brought in some pretty pretty heavy firepower against me right here. And I'm curious if he's gonna ban my Taras or Warlord. Of course, Krixia. Out of out of here, I don't even I don't even stay to chat about about uh, about that. No Krixia. So probably thinking that uh, Little Miss any single target, he might ban Taras because he has UDK. You know, it really I I feel like he's thinking right now who I banned, and uh, yeah, he banned he banned Warlord. Okay, not not a not a bad decision because. This can give him the, the edge with that uh, with the Harima, you know. It's gonna be a bit harder to kill the Harima, uh, but let's 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 try to do our uh, our best, you know. So stone skin on uh, UDK. Uh, I will increase attack with uh, mm, Arbais right now, yeah. And I'm gonna try to take that uh, mm, Sifi down, or should we take the Harima? Harima is gonna have an AOE. Let's let's uh, let's take Sifi. Oh, that was so close. That was so freaking close. So so close. That's fine. <laughs> okay, I thought that I'm gonna get a revive on that. Damn it, we haven't managed to to get it done. But we're gonna kill Sifi now. So like this, uh, Rotos will not uh, get cleansed or uh, or anything like that. It's gonna be a bit dangerous with. Uh, with that Harry mind there, but let's try to get more Termiter, see if by any chance my Arbais will cut, will overlap his Harima. Okay, I was gonna I was gonna say, is he going for Little Miss Anne? It's kind of like a like a no-brainer. To to try and get that done. So we gain a lot of Termiter. Are we are we overlapping her? Uh, we are, okay. So remove buffs, revive on that. Just in case if that Harima will take down my uh my Taras, you know, which is a, is a possibility. Not anymore, but still. So right now we can do this. Shame that uh, that Rotus killed my uh, killed my little Miss Annie man. So that uh, that Harima actually still has the the A three available, right? So that's gonna that's gonna be nasty. I cannot revive little Miss Annie unless unless my uh, Marichka dies, which I, I highly I highly doubt it. It's just not gonna happen. She has so many buffs. <laughs> and now I just messed up his Rotos, you know? Like, Arbaiz is just such an amazing counter to Rotos, to Sifi, because of her sleep. When you're having her in the second form and you have the taunt, you know? It's actually super, uh, super impactful. Uh, let's try and take this Rotos down slowly. I feel like he had enough. That Rotos might be getting, uh, might be getting bored in here. What does this do? Leech and HP burn. No. That's turn meter. And right now we can just put them to sleep. Because I have so many buffs, no way they're gonna survive. Let's uh, let's move over to the to the next fight. Okay, claim chest. We already got all the all the currency. 
for the for the primal shards. Okay, HP, speed, defense. Okay, that might be useful. 2027 when they're buffing that set. Speed, HP, and crit rate. Okay, we'll keep that. So uh, let's uh, let's try to pick up a, a few more fights before the they're, they're closing it. Okay, Finland warriors, 4,700 points. This might be the biggest kraken we caught so far. You know, because ah uh, yes, definitely six star polymorph Sifi, the biggest kraken we caught so far. So what I'm gonna do this time around, I'm actually going to take in King Narcissus and Ancora for a change. I really hope I have gear on them. I wish we could see the player power just so we know when we're picking them, if we have gear on them or no, which we should have gear, really. Damn, I was, I was thinking that he might, uh, he might do that and pick Warlord. I was so, uh, so sure that he's going to do it. So we're going to try and do something a bit different. Um, hmm. Should we go Arbaiz? Mm, let's let's go our base. Yeah, let's go our base. Who knows what else he's he's going to pick? Is he gonna bring Marichka? He's gonna bring Rotos or Harima. Um what he has okay, Garel and oh Shuzan. That is a bit nasty. That is definitely a bit nasty because Shuzan is a is quite a bit of a quite a bit of an issue. So uh Mm, man, how fast is his damn warlord? That's another thing that uh, I have no idea. Oof, I might regret this, guys. I might regret this. I might be doing a stupid mistake, but let's let's find out, okay? Let's find out, right? Don't be faster, please. Don't be faster, please. You might be faster. I have a feeling that Shuzan is just too dangerous. Okay, what happened? Oh, baby! Oh, baby, but it's still, still not enough Termiter. I don't think it's going to be enough Termiter for my little... Oh, baby! <laughs> oh, baby! So right now, this is, this is going to be a tricky, a tricky pony, man, because... Um... Oh, who should we take down? That Sif is going to revive Warlord. Okay, you see reaction, and he 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 did not survive that. But that Taras will uh, probably try and nuke us if if we don't do this before, of course. And of course, was not enough damage, unfortunately. I have revive on that on Little Miss Annie, so she's gonna come back and uh, uh, and uh, attack whoever killed her. I was gonna say whatever weird stuff is happening there. We have revive on that right now. That Sifi. We'll revive Warlord. I'm just hoping that my Ancora will take her turn now. So we actually gave a bit of extra damage. Oh, damn. That was just... That was just disgusting. The damage from that... Uh, uh, from that Garel. Nasty. And Taras is gonna end me right now. Probably, yeah. Okay. Okay. Not not as planned. Uh, it is it is pretty, pretty hard when... Uh, when uh, you're going against uh, so many, so many OP champions, you know the problem was the mythical was Shuzan was pretty hard to kind of like um, decide who were uh, who were dropping out of there, and I feel like that that Taras might have uh, an AOE available. I'm not even sure, but let's find out. Does he? Okay, not yet, not yet. Little Miss Annie, what can you basically do for us? Oh no! That was a stupid thing. I had a feeling that I might get I might get shipped if I'm doing it. Okay, it's game over, yeah. Game over. GG's. GGG's. Man, I supposed to use the A1 on somebody that didn't have ship, man. Yeah, on a uh, on Warlord. A1 on Warlord would have would have saved the situation. Let's let's back out, it's no point. That Garrel really smacked the crap out of me. Garrel is is such a nasty such a nasty mythical champion. That's actually the one that I uh, I had to, uh, to showcase when they announced the the mythicals. I had the, I have the card, you know the. I don't know how you call those cards that are kind of like changing a bit the. Uh, the image on them. 
Okay, so he starts directly with Marichka. We're gonna go Sifi, we're gonna go Warlord and see what else he's picking from, uh, from here. Damn, he had to ruin our streak there, huh? That Geralt, he had to ruin our streak. Taras was not even doing such a, such a crazy damage. So he's, he's playing a, a weird one in here. He's bringing uh, Narciss with Marichka. So he's trying to bring both of the couples. So he's going to bring Ancora and Taras. Most probably. That's fine. Let's, uh, let's see what... Else. I'm not going to bring in Rotos just yet. I'm not going to bring in Rotos just yet. And I'm going to go with Duchess this, um, this time around. I'm not sure if I'm going to... Actually, you know, I'm not going to let him take Taras too. Let me take Taras from him. I feel like that's what, uh, that's what he was going for. Try to fill both of the couples, you know? Okay, so he's going uh, UDK and Rotos. Interesting. And I'm going to go in, of course, with the one that's missing. Little Miss Annie. Now, who are we banning from here? Most probably we're going to ban that uh, uh, Yumeko. Is he going to ban our uh, Taras or no? Let's see. Warlord, okay. That's what I would have banned as well. He's probably counting that that Narciss is going to kill my, uh, my Taras, you know. I'm not sure how fast are his characters or anything like that. So Marishka seems to be much faster than any of my uh, champions. Don't, don't join with an ally attack any of the nukers, please. Don't give him good RNG from the beginning. Don't you do it! Okay. Okay, he decided to go for that instead. A better, a better choice. So I have no strength and I have no shield. That Narciss should not basically uh, double dip me. But I'm going to try to see if I break him with my A3. Oh, that was so, so close. So right now, I'm just going to go and A1 him. Ah, oh, damn, the reaction. Okay, that, that saved him. Uh, he's definitely going to kill my little Miss Annie. That's, that's for sure. I can revive her all uh, after. It's not a problem. I had a feeling that that might happen. I had a feeling that that might happen. So uh, I want to revive with increase attack. She's going to kill Narciss right now. Good job, little Miss Annie. And we're just going to have to deal right now with uh, Rotos. And then, of course, with, uh, with uh, the other champions. The other champions will pose no threat. Uh, if we kill Rotos, uh, we're going to be in a, in, a better, in a better situation. We might not be able to, of course, because uh, of... Uh, having only, only two hits and uh, UDK being there as well. But we're about to break that stone skin on UDK pretty soon. Okay, he was not able to kill Duchess, which is good. So that's a six star, six star plus to Rotos, right? Yeah, that, damn nasty. Rotos is definitely a dangerous, uh, a dangerous character. So I just want to get more Termitar and slowly pinch a bit of uh, more HP on him, you know? We cannot do nothing with that. I should have maybe the A3 available on Little Miss Annie, or maybe just the A1. We'll see in a second. Ah, damn. I hate when, when the RNG is so good on, uh, on who joins the attack with uh, Arichka. There we go. Rotos down. Little Miss Annie took care of him. Not a problem. And we still have that uh, UDK in there. We still have, of course, uh, the Marichka, but not a problem. This just allows us to basically regroup, you know? Get a bit of a more healing on, uh, on Duchess. And I do want to kill UDK first, of course. So uh, kind of like get him out of the menu. I could attempt to go for, um, for Marichka since I have my Taras on so much turn meter. But I, I was sure I'm not going to have enough firepower only with one hit to take her down. But we took like 50-50 uh, HP down on both of them. So right now... Hmm, if I'm nuking, they're gonna come back to life. So he had... He already used his AoE, Narciss. Rotos... Rotos can kill my, uh... Can kill my Duchess and then kill any of the... Of the rest. So let's... Let's just uh, do this. Are you gonna heal or no? No. So he's not gonna... He's not gonna heal her. I will definitely definitely kill them right now but i might be able to boost with sifi after so uh that that could be helpful let's see 
Ah, not not that ready yet, but I do have more Termiter, which is good. We have more Termiter. Let's try to break that Roto, so right now we can just tell, good, tell them goodbye. I'm so surprised that that Roto survived. Like, he was not supposed to survive. He had less than 50% HP. So that was super, super weird. Either way, Little Miss Anne is going to wipe the floor with uh, that Rotos right now. There we go. Bang! Another one bites the dust. 349,000 damage, guys, from Little Miss Annie. Taras, 208k. I am trying to push Little Miss Annie over Taras, so the main reason why I'm taking Taras is to kind of, like, uh, threaten the enemy in thinking that, okay, I need to ban that Taras, you know? Little Miss Annie sucks. She doesn't do enough damage. So this is kind of like a bit of a different sort of, uh, of strategy. It's not going to uh, be effective against every single player out there if they're bringing in a uh, heavy firepower a lot of mythicals and stuff like that it's gonna be much harder for uh for me to basically uh take them uh take them down with with a team like this so he starts directly with taras six six star ship on him so we're gonna go this time around sifi and the uh, warlord to start with man six star ship is everywhere now like, even freaking Uncommons wear 6-star ship now. They, they buffed Polymorph so much with, uh, with, the, with the recent changes. It's crazy. So this is a guy that goes for both of the couples. Okay, he's going for both of them. He's, he's just saying, that's it. I had enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take them both. So he's taking both of those damage dealers. Now, what I can do is uh, take in Harima, just for a bit of a, for a, bit of a change. Um... I feel like it's better than bringing in a bringing in a Rotos and getting countered by a UDK after being forced to uh, to ban that UDK. Probably has a Crixia hidden uh, hidden as well somewhere. Let's see. Does he or he doesn't? So we're keeping our last last spot open for the moment till we see what else he is bringing uh, in here. You know. What what else you have? Marichka? Do you have Marichka? It is very very likely that he doesn't. Okay, so he's going uh Nacred and he's going uh he's going uh, uh Yumeko. That's fine, that's fine. So then Nacred is probably two turn stone skin, it's gonna be a bit slower to, to deal with him. I will ban his Yumeko in here. That Narciss with, uh, with Queen Ancora will be very dangerous. I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna lie. It will be very dangerous. Is he gonna ban Harima? Is he gonna ban Warlord? Very curious. Very, very curious. He banned Warlord, okay. Now, let's hope she's not like 2,000 speed, you know. If she's not 2,000 speed, we're good. <laughs> So I'm expecting to have two, two nukes. Two nukes from, uh, from him. And seems like, uh, seems like that went to, to King Narciss. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I need to, to buff. My problem is that fear on Little Miss Annie. Thankfully, that got removed. So right now, I'm, I'm risking it because I feel like he might have, uh, he might have reaction. But we're going to try to take that Taras down. Okay, so double hit. Okay, we haven't killed him, which is fine. We might be able to get him down right now. Beautiful. So little Miss Anne is going to die. I'm going to have to hopefully revive. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is going to do this. We got polymorphed on her. Uh, damn, and revive on that doesn't, uh, doesn't proc like this. Okay. I need to put him to sleep right now with Sifi, hopefully. But I think... I think I won't be able to. So he's gonna he's gonna nuke me right now. Okay, he blocked the revive on my Harima. Killed my uh, little Miss Annie. So right now, I need to I need to bring her back. It's a bit dangerous with that Nacret. Uh, little Miss Annie doesn't uh, doesn't have an easy life with Nacret in the in the fight. I'll be very honest. She just doesn't uh, ignore any of the ally protection shield, etc. You know, so that. That will be a bit of a, a bit of an issue. So right now she will need to revive or do something. So uh, that Taras 
still has the AoE nook, which might kill my little Miss Annie. Oh, damn, the sleep was gonna go to one core. I supposed to sleep his freaking Narciss. I was not expecting to see that. I, I really thought, I really thought that King Narciss was gonna have the highest crit damage and not uh, Taras, but you see. When you see that they're using the couple together, you kind of like expect that, but then <laughs> we almost got him. Uh, we almost got him in here, though. But then we didn't, so GG's to, GG's to him. Uh, Another, another one ruining our, our streak. Man, only if I was sleeping, uh, if I was sleeping that Narciss, but still, that, uh, that Aras with, uh, with the AoE nuke, he killed my, uh, my little Miss Annie, so that already put me in a, put me in a bad spot, you know. We got polymorphed on, uh, on uh, Arbaiz, which kind of like ruined our mojo quite a bit, you know. I should take Polymorph on her, thinking about it. I just realized that I don't have Polymorph on, uh, on my uh, Arbeis, and I do have Accuracy, so she needs to... She needs to get... Uh, she needs to get uh, upgraded. So let me just bring in the Tarichkas. That block revive on that, on, uh, on Harima, was, uh, was a, bit, a bit painful, you know? It was definitely a bit, uh, a bit painful. So we're gonna bring in Warlord. Let me just go in with, uh, with another Reviver, just... Trying to, to avoid that polymorph, you know, it's pretty it's pretty annoying that uh uh that revive on that doesn't doesn't go on, especially if uh, if you get polymorph before, you know. So right here is a no-brainer, okay? What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna ban King Narcissus directly because if I ban him, I know he cannot uh, he cannot threaten my uh, my team, you know. So Rotos, yes, he can uh, he can go ham. Uh, Queen Ancora can decrease cooldowns if by any chance he was not banning my Warlord, but is not uh, very likely to to win the fight because of it. You know, it is a chance, but I feel like uh, it won't be the the main the main thing. So he's sleeping Taras. That's fine. He has no uh, no AOE damage, so that's that's to to our advantage basically. Uh, I cannot attack Rotos because I'm not gonna kill him. Uh, what I'm gonna do instead, I'm gonna try to see if I can take that uh, Sifi down. Okay, close to it, close to it. She had the shield as well. Uh, then we almost broke the stone skin on UDK. Like, check this out, you see? <laughs> so that uh, that UDK won't be won't be chilling in there for uh, for long, you know. Okay, he's gonna hit stone skin, which is fine. You see, he barely scratched my stone skin. And look at the stone skin from UDK after uh, Little Miss Annie took, uh, took a hit. So right now, I'm going to take that uh, Sifi down. That's it. She had enough. We're gaining the turn meter, which is very nice because it allows her to, to rotate uh, faster, you know. Okay, Queen Ancora. Ah, damn, it happened. Exactly what I said that it might not uh, happen too, too often. It happened. Okay, so he has the A2 available again. I'm gonna try to go for a. Should I go for more termiter maybe, or should I just go for a nuke? I'm gonna go for a nuke, kill that Ancora maybe, or get close to it. I'm gonna say what happened. Okay. The thing is, I I know I have the A2 and the A3 on cooldown on Little Miss Annie, so I wasn't gonna be able to kill Queen Ancora like that. But right now, I should be able to kill her with the A1 with Little Miss Annie, and she's not gonna be able to revive his Sifi. So like this, we're just left with one enemy and. Uh, I mean, no matter what he does, there's no way in hell he's gonna he's gonna win the fight. You know, he even backed backed out of it. I just didn't have the time to 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 see more. But we can do two more fights, guys. I have two more tokens, and it seems like we have plenty of time to to get this done. Let's see what Little Miss Annie can uh, can uh, can do against some different opponents. I think I feel like we have uh, we had uh, a couple of easier opponents. We had a couple of more challenging opponents and uh, a few that were kind of like on the on the on the playing field, I would say. Okay. Pry Pry. I don't think I don't think we fought him. Or was was it the same uh, opponent that we fought like a minute ago? I don't think so, right? I definitely want to get my uh, my great horse sorted now for uh, 
ignore defense on the Sand Devil and the Cursed City. I'm almost done with the Cursed City. I have level uh, 9 and level 10 left. And uh, then I'm going to move over. Oh, Siegfried. You filthy Kraken. A plus 2 5-star Siegfried too. Auto ban instantly. Like there's no way in hell I'll be fighting that dude. Honestly, no way in hell. I might not even pick Little Miss Annie here, depending on what else he's bringing, you know? Let's see. That's a mythical party, guys. Mythical party. So this changes things quite a bit, man. This changes things quite a bit. Plus four art bias. You filthy Kraken. You degenerate. I'm going to go in for uh, Ancora and uh, Narciss. By the way, I got a soul for Narciss today as well. One star. I, I, I bought it from the, from the market. So I'm going to ban that Siegfried. I'm going to have to deal with Crixia. That's why I decided to go for Narciss and Ancora. Uh, decrease cooldowns, hopefully. Hopefully. It is nasty. It's super nasty. Look at this filthy Kraken with all the, all the mythicals. <laughs> you gotta love it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Just, just to kind of <laughs> like end it on a positive note, he decides to bang me even more with that Lazarius. Okay, let's seek. Ah, oh, he banned Narciss. Disgusting. He... He had a feeling that uh, Ancora is too dangerous with, uh, with him. So, funny enough, I might be faster than his Crixia. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't know if it's going to be the case. I don't think so. Like, look at this disgusting Kraken. I think he has uh, all the quad rolls in the world and penta rolls. He's buying all the speed gear. Okay, we just got polymorphed instantly. Yeah, this is game over. GG, Scratch. Nice try. <laughs> nice try. Nice try, Scratch. Can we get resisted? Nah, not gonna happen. Okay. I'm still gonna stay in the fight. You know, I'm not, uh, I am not giving up. That, that Lazarius is about to smack our booty right now. The good thing is that Taras didn't got locked. Okay. And uh, that. Oh, baby. Please be the A3. Please be the A3. Please be the A3. We gotta decrease cooldown on Warlord. If it's the A3, if it's the A3, guys, we might stand a chance. Okay. Oh, F you, man. We, got, we gotta get the healing on. We gotta get the healing on. Uh, it's not much that I can do. I feel like Lazarius is about to smack my booty now. He didn't do it before, but I feel like he's gonna do it now. We had to get a healing on, on Taras. Maybe, maybe he's going to survive, you know? And I have this. Can I kill Delazarius? Ah, oh, not enough. Not enough damage, man. Okay, that's a shame. I thought that maybe I'm going to get him. Helm Smasher, why, why you didn't proc? That was painful. That was painful. But we got a decrease cooldown on uh, Taras again. Maybe he didn't notice that. Let's see. Okay, decrease cooldowns. What are you going to, to do right now? Let's see. Okay. Taras? Taras, please? Ah, damn, revive on that before, too. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, and he didn't got the decrease cooldown all the way. Now it's just two turns, right, from four turns. Damn it, man. Ah, uh, for a second, I thought that we might get it, guys. <laughs> for a second, I thought that we just might get it. But yes, it's, uh, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. But this was a fun fight. I, I actually enjoyed it. Even though I'm losing, I actually enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, the ups and downs. The ups and downs, you know? Okay, Metamorph, do your thing. Do your thing. Yeah, Taras is dead. Taras is dead mid right now. Uh, it's not much that I can do anyway. Like, I can... Ah, wait, she has the taunt. I didn't even notice that. It's not much that I can, uh, I can do now. Because probably I'm gonna get locked again, yeah. Yeah. Unless I'm getting resisted. We got a weak hit on Ancora. Ooh, that, that can potentially be something. Damn fear. Ah. 
Uh, Warlord, please. Warlord. Baby, please. Drop the Terminator. Give me, give me the clans. Give me the clans. <laughs> give me the clans. We might get it. We might get it. <laughs> uh, block buffs. Damn it. Okay, see fish, see fish is not going to revive only next tier. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I think he's gonna kill my warlord. Yep, yep, yep. As expect. Oh, and increase the cooldown of my skills, man. That's what happened right now. Okay. Hmm. We're not getting it. We're not getting. <laughs> We're not getting it. The ups and downs of this fight. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But I'm still not backing out either. I cannot wait to get a few more mythicals because uh, they're actually a lot of fun to play them if you have them, especially if you have uh, the OP ones. Prixia, Lazarius, Siegfried, you know, they're, they're super strong. Very, very strong, you know, and how I mentioned, yeah, a lot of fun to, to play. That's it. We got locked, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep him in here, fight for, uh, fight for it, you know. If, if he wants it, if he wants it, he needs to work for it. I'm not just gonna hand it to him. Okay. I was going to say, I, I wish he's going to get Petrified too, because uh, that brings in a lot of damage reduction, so that Lazarius won't be able to one-shot me. Hopefully he's going to use the AoE if he has it available, and waste it like this, you know? Okay, nice, nice, nice. The Master is, uh, the master is uh, dropped in on my, uh, on my Ancora. But I still don't have the cooldown. I still don't have the cooldown, though. Let's see. Fear. Ah, oh, man. Could you imagine if I was having this on, a, on right now? I could have I done something. No decreased cooldown on, uh, on Sifi, unfortunately. That was so scary. Pardon the sound in the microphone if, if, if it was too loud. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> we're back. We're back. We're back. Wait, wait. Sifi, please. Okay, we, we, had, we had to bring in the nuker because uh, Warlord last... Oh, God damn you, man. God damn you. Ah, uh, that lock. What's the chance on that A1 to proc as well, bro? Like, he has so good, so much good RNG in this fight. Yeah, he's gonna kill my Taras now. Or he. Oh, we survived. We survived. Don't lock me again. Don't lock me again. Ah. Uh. Oh, baby. <laughs> baby. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. If we get this, if we get this fight, guys, this is go <laughs> it's going to go in the history. It's going to go in the history as my craziest fight ever. <laughs> the ups and the downs of this fight. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad that it's being recorded so it can be witnessed. It can be witnessed. Okay. Okay, that 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 Krixia, yeah, she's uh, she's nasty. Don't I hope they don't have enough damage to to kill me though. Krixia, yeah, she shouldn't she shouldn't do enough. But you don't know that UDK how crazy he can be, you know. So I gotta take that Krixia yeah, down. Hopefully, ah, oh, so close. Look at that, so so close. Okay, change form, lock me out because I know that's what you're doing right now. Okay. Ah, you don't have to change form, actually. You weren't here. Oh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the craziest freaking fight you've ever witnessed because it just happened right now. It just happened right now. Now it's a shame we didn't have Little Miss Anne in here, but this is honestly the craziest live arena match I've ever had. The ups and the downs, and I know I'm repeating this, but what? Wow. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Look at that. That was such an amazing, amazing fight. GG's. Pry Pry. GG's. GG's. We have one more token, guys. 
Hopefully we're not gonna get him again because I can't go through this again. I just can't go through this again. Not today. Not today. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. Let's get a bit of coffee. Whew. Decisions. Decisions. You know, like doing the, doing the right things, even under pressure, pays off. Okay. Please don't be another 25 star mythical champions and stuff like that because uh, <laughs> is 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 nasty. So that's if he has a polymorph already. I wonder if I should start uh, start differently. Now let's 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 still go with the Tarichkas. I suppose to together the other couple actually. Uh okay, so Kaimar Kaimar and uh Arbiter, so he's gonna he's gonna bring in an interesting uh, interesting thing to to the fight right here. Hmm. Warlord. Should I go Arbeis though? Should I go Arbeis or I shouldn't? Duchess Arbeis, Duchess Arbeis. Yeah, let's let's go Arbeis. I might make him a surprise. Depending on uh, what else he's bringing in, you know. Okay, so he's bringing Haprak. He's bringing, uh, he's bringing in uh, Tormin. So that's gonna be a bit of a, a bit of an issue for us because we have uh, no block buffs. We only have block buffs from uh, from Warlord. I would assume he's on a stone skin. Uh, that Haprak. I will ban his. Uh, He's uh Tormin. I have no no other option. Okay. So he's 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 playing a, a dangerous game here. He's counting on me killing somebody and uh, that Haprak wiping uh, wiping us off, you know, or he's counting that Kaimar is gonna sleep me or uh he's gonna remove my buffs and then wipe us. We might we might end the end the video with a loss here, guys. Um He's gonna have a lot of a lot of speed in there, so it's gonna be a bit harder for me to to, to counter uh, counter his team with what I have available. Yeah, I think Haprak is gonna take a turn before before me. My main my main thing is don't remove the stone skin from my uh, uh, warlord, please. And he did it. He did it. So right now I'm gonna have to basically put a revive on that. Like that's my my best option. Little Miss Anne is dead meat. A lot of them will be dead meat. Warlord as well. A little Miss Annie will... Ah, he's petrified. Okay. Little Miss Annie will attack, uh, will attack him anyway. Now, even if that uh, Kaima resets, it's fine because uh, they're not as, uh, as dangerous like this, you know. Just don't have that skill available again. You see, he cannot reset the petrified ones, which is very, very, uh, very helpful for us. I'm going to change form right now and get some healing on. And I'm going to try to see if I can kill somebody before that uh, Haprak will actually get to uh, change form from being petrified. Because uh, we, don't want, we don't want to basically uh, get attacked by him again, you know. So with Little Miss Annie, I'm going to go and kill somebody. Arbiter, preferably. So we get an increased attack, we get a Veil. Uh, right now we can take his Nuker down. We lock them. So yeah, we're not going to end it with, uh, with a loss, thankfully. Okay, so little Miss Anne is just gonna wipe them, uh, wipe them off now. I'm gonna go straight for Sifi, so there's no more threat, no way for him to come back, and uh, there we go. Bang, 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 bang. Little Miss Annie, I know she was not part of the most entertaining fight of the of the century, guys. Make sure you guys are staying zoomed in and watching. Especially that fight. It's probably the best live arena match I've ever had. Appreciate every single one of you guys watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about Little Miss Annie? We had a couple of losses, if I'm not mistaken. I think we, uh, we had 10 fights. We had two losses. So uh, we, haven't done, uh, we haven't done too bad, actually. And we only had one match where we haven't used Little Miss Annie. The rest you've seen, she's actually performing really 
really well. And before I forget, guys, let me just quickly show you the stats on Little Miss Annie. I got a bit excited with uh, with that fight there. So I have her on a Little, on a Speed Set, and I have one piece of the Merciless, which gives me basically a bit of additional uh, attack. Total stats on Little Miss Annie, 46,000 HP, which is not as relevant because she's going to get one shot anyway. 8,100 attack, 2,500 defense. Now, I don't want to have crazy high HP and defense on her just to make sure that when I'm attacking a Rotos or something like that, I will get to do the double hit with the A3, for example, right? Because uh, if the enemy has higher defense and higher HP than my Little Miss Annie, she will actually uh, do a double hit with the A3, repeat the, the attack. 288 speed, 100 crit rate, 326 crit damage. I managed to get the four star today on the awakening so i gained 38 percent uh, free damage as low uh as less as possible when we're talking about accuracy so i kind of lost myself there for a second you want to avoid getting polymorphed uh, because of the a1 right it's very very important masteries i have offense and defense three i do have retribution i have helm smasher s tier six we do have cycle of violence of course shield breaker because we don't ignore uh, ignore shield with the uh, Little Miss Annie, and this is the gear if you're curious to see it. That's the weapon. Uh, I have everything perfectly ascended on her, okay? It costed me quite a bit to get the, uh, the dust to, to do it, but I have everything spot on. And there's quite a bit of improvement when we're talking about uh, glyphs. I can definitely get more speed, which is uh, one of my goals to get more speed on, uh, on her as well. Of course, pre damage, uh, pre damage gloves, attack chest piece. This is a uh, Amazing attack chest piece, actually. We have speed boots, double roll on attack, speed as a ascension. I want her to be fast, to be able to cut on the on the enemy, preferably. That's why I kind of like want to make her even faster. My goal is to get close to 300 speed, but I'm not going to get there without using six star glyphs, which I kind of don't want to do on nukers, you know. Then I have an attack ring. Uh... Pretty nice one. I can actually get a better one from Rotos, but I'm not going to, to move that one from Rotos. Rotos has a quad one. I'm going to leave him with that. I have a crit damage uh, Merciless. Uh, once I'm going to get a better ring from a, a Merciless set or even a banner, uh, I'm going to be able to replace what I have and gain 15% crit damage too on top of the 10% attack, you know? So it's going to be it's gonna be nice. If I can replace all the accessories, I'm going to get 5% speed too which is going to be very, very helpful, you know. And this is the banner right here, guys. I can definitely improve a bit the attack and the speed. I actually can improve it quite a bit because I can literally glyph pretty much every single piece. But that's my build on Little Miss Annie. Much love and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.